Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Infocom 2018. We're here on the NEC Display Solution Stand in the Central Hall. With me today is Spencer Graham, who's the DSF Vice Chairman. Yes, I am. Uh, many people will know you from your time at the University of West Virginia. I spent about 15 years at West Virginia University. I uh, started out managing one of the, uh, the television networks that we were doing for graduate level, yep. master's degree, and then uh, literally as the unfortunate events at Virginia Tech were playing out, we ended up creating a digital signage network mm -hmm. at that time with emergency messaging, and, yep. and now they have close to 200 digital signs right. uh, there. Now, now, education is very much your speciality. We'll get onto that in a second, because that's brilliant for exactly what the DSF has been doing right. for a, a while now. That's but right. you'll be the DSF chairman come January the 1st. That's correct. So tell us a little about how the process starts. Something happens in September, I understand, and this well, year. in September, uh, my dear friend Rich Venture and I will actually be sharing duties as chairing the board during that meeting and I'll be taking over in January. Right. There, but, uh, uh, I was talking to you earlier that uh, Randy Dearborn with MGM Grand yeah, and, we all know and Rich with really NEC well. and I were all in the same class together that came onto the board and we've become very dear friends over yeah. the years so I'm very privileged to have worked with gentlemen of that, of that stature yeah. and they've been so helpful to me over the years. That's so. very good. It's That's an right. honor to, yeah. to do that. Now, you have a day job as well, and you've come from UB Tech. I just came from UB Tech. Which is the show, which is the day before Infocom starts in the That's day, so it finishes today. Right. Tell us a little bit about your, your day job since you left the University of right. West Virginia. About a year ago, I went to work for Real Digital Media, mm -hmm. which is now a, um, a sister company within the Stratocash umbrella. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ken Goldberg, who yep. is the CEO of yeah, Real Digital another Media, DSF is, chairman is of, the past chairman. He's of, the chairman uh, of this year, yeah, I guess. Actually, he would well, yes, two years now. Two years now. And uh, certainly I met, met Ken uh, when I went on the DSF board years ago, and he and I have been very dear friends. And uh, so I am uh, managing the business development for the higher education right. vertical now right. for uh, Real Digital Media. Yep. And just... It's been a, a very pleasant yeah. uh, association. And UBTech is a great show, isn't it? It's a very good show. It's very, you know, the Digital Signage Expo obviously is a very uh, good opportunity in digital signage, but UBTech is focused on university business technology, so it is very laser focused on higher education. Right. And so their educational programs, which we were a part of, we did two different sessions this week. Uh, are really addressing those challenges and those opportunities within the higher education vertical. Mm -hmm. So they have a, uh, it's a very, it's a smaller uh, showroom type yep. of, of thing there, but, but it's all focused on higher education. So it gives us that opportunity there to talk about digital signage, mm -hmm. to talk about technology, to talk about where technology is going in the future there. So we, right. we enjoy doing that. Now, I don't know if you realize, but of course, DSF is 10 years old next year. Yes, they so are. you've got the, uh, well, it's either a big opportunity to do something special or a poison chalice because you'll be looking after all of the, the 10 right. year anniversary celebrations at DSE. That's right. And so I guess that I will be in charge of something, at least the ver the balloons, I guess. But yeah, uh, I'll have something to come special. up with something special yeah. there. And, and like I say, it's hard to follow a guy like Rich Ventura mm -hmm. through, uh, through that. So I'll have to work at coming up okay. with something. Now every chairman since, uh, well I mean every, every chairman has always had something they focused on. So if you go back to uh, Mighty Phil Cohen right. and the lady who followed him. Kim Sarubi. Kim Sarubi, uh, Ken Goldberg, uh, Rich Ventura has had the Ad Council and a lot of education stuff. Right. Have you got any idea yet? Well, you, you know, it's getting harder and harder. To it's find getting, something. That's right. They're because, all doing it. They've, they've done it all. The Digital Signage Federation is, is, is not the Digital Signage Federation of 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, nor is the industry. And the Digital Signage Federation has really done a lot to change the industry. And so everybody kind of has their legacies and it's getting more and more difficult. I would say that, um, and, and so much of that, as far as I'm concerned, I have to share with other people because other people have been so involved with the success of the mm -hmm. Digital Signage Federation. Certainly, 
the education committee has been very fond of me because that's what I, when I came onto right. the board, I, I ended up chairing it. And now Ryan Cahoy and Paul Floranges and, and yeah. Wayne Razor are, are taking over. But we have really focused on helping the industry by way of education. They're certainly uh, supporting the DSEG program, but now we're doing our micro-credentialing program yeah. that we're getting ready to launch very soon. Um, there that is a little bit more laser focused on certain niches there, but to help the DSF members with information that they need to be more professional, to yep. be successful, and uh, so we're excited about that certainly. And of course, we also have the uh, the Digital Out of Home Council, Sheldon, uh, mm -hmm. Sheldon Silverman is, is heading that up and doing a wonderful job. That's going to be very exciting here uh, once we get it off. Certainly our international program, yep. with uh, we have DSF Europe, DSF Mexico, or Latin America, and uh, you know, it's just an exciting time. Uh, what's going to standards? We're doing an awful lot mm -hmm. with fo focusing on how do we. When I was working at the television network, I had five engineers that were some of my dearest friends, and we always laughed about when we were talking about digital signage. There, they said, you know, standards. Mm. That's the beautiful thing about standards. There's so many to pick from. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're trying to focus on how do we create some standards that move across multiple industries that touch within digital signage there. So these are exciting times. Right. So to try and, and say that my, my legacy is any one particular thing, I, I certainly uh, take pride in the success of a lot of the good people mm -hmm. we've brought on the board that are on these committees at the committee level. They're all contributors to it there, so uh, our, any success DSF has is going to help the industry. Right. Okay, good. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very exciting 2019, and yes. we'd like to welcome you ahead of time to the chairman. Well, thank you, you very a, much. It sounds like you've got a lot of work to do, but it sounds like you're standing on the shoulders of giants. We do. Well, we certainly appreciate. I have to admit that uh, long before I had gotten uh, involved with DSF or any of that, I was reading your blog uh, for years and so it's it's a privilege to be here with you and I appreciate certainly the opportunity there and and I do appreciate how you've supported the Digital Science Federation over the years it's important for our industry and uh, certainly anything I can do for for you or get you in touch with people you need to get mm -hmm. in touch with please please reach out right. anytime okay Spencer thank you very much indeed thank you very much